Are you ready to test your drone piloting skills? Hey, it's Ken here with UAV Coach. In our last video, we introduced the National Institute of Standards and Technology and their testing standards for drone pilots. Today, we're gonna show you how to use the test stands to challenge yourself and improve your skills. So let's get to it. The NIST has outlined five levels of testing, each with graduated skill level requirements. You can find these tests and the guidelines on the NIST website at the link below. In this video, we're gonna focus on open test lane maneuvers and show you how to test yourself using these maneuvers. You can modify the test criteria as you see fit, but the NIST guidelines are a good place to start. To get started, set up the bucket stands that we made in our last video and your launch point or your home point. For this exercise, we'll use bucket stands one through three in a straight line spaced three meters or 10 feet apart. Your launch point should be 10 feet from stand one and you should stand 10 feet away from the launch point. For the first test, launch your drone and then climb to between nine and 10 feet above the launch point. Position your drone and roll the gimbal so that you can see bucket 1A. Then take a photo of bucket 1A. You wanna to try to see the complete green circle. If you see the whole circle, you get five points. You get a partial green ring, you get one point, and no, a broken green ring, and you get zero points. Then fly the drone forward until it's overhead the first bucket stand and you can see bucket one. Position the drone and the gimbal until you can see that full green circle and then take a photo from there. Then roll the gimbal up until you can see bucket 2A and again you want to try to get a photo of the bucket with the full green ring visible. Then you'll fly forward again until your overhead bucket 2 and again Position the drone and the gimbal, and you'll take a photo trying to capture that full green ring. Once you're above bucket two, then you'll roll the gimbal up until you can see bucket 3A. Again, you do the same thing, take a photo. You wanna to try to capture that whole green ring. Then fly forward, try to get above bucket three, and position the drone so that you get a good photo there. Now at this point, what we'll do is we'll rotate the drone 180 degrees so that we can fly back to the starting point. But once you get rotated, you wanna again take that photo and then you'll roll the gimbal up till you see bucket 2C. And you may need to adjust exposure if it's really bright one way and really dark the other way. So you take a picture of a photo of 2C and then fly forward, which will be inverted controls here, till you're above bucket two. Try to get that positioned as best as possible. Take your photo there, roll the gimbal up, get the photo of bucket 1C, and then fly forward to your overhead bucket one and get the photo of that bucket. Now the big challenge here is that to do this complete exercise, you only have five minutes. So you have to fly over the buckets, get all your photos, and then come back and land within that five minutes. Now you wanna rate your landing there as well, score your landing. This exercise has a total of 55 points that you can get. Five points for each bucket and five points for the landing. Now the next exercise we're gonna do is check your sideways or your roll maneuvering skills. So again, you launch the drone up to 10 feet, you roll the gimbal until you can see bucket 1A, and take that photo. Now what you do is you wanna orbit to the left around bucket one until you can see bucket 1B. And again, we'll take the photo of that and then you roll to the left again until you get aligned with bucket stand two and take your photo of bucket 2B, and then you'll roll to the left again until you get over three. So you take the photo of 3B, then you'll orbit around bucket three, or stand three, 
So you get 3C, and then you orbit around and get 3D, and then 2D, and then 1D, and then you'll want to orbit around 1 and take your photo of bucket 1A, and then you'll land again. And don't forget to score your landing. Again, you get 5 points for a good landing and 1.4 for a not so good landing. So then you'll take off again and take a photo of 1A, and then orbit to the right this time and get bucket 1D, and then 2D, 3D, orbit around uh, stand 3 until you get to 3C, and then 3B, and then 2B, and then 1B, and then when you're coming back, don't forget to orbit back around 1 till you get to bucket 1A and take that photo again. And then you'll again land and hopefully get a good landing. In this exercise, you can get up to 100 points. So this shows you what I scored in my two tests. I did the first test, um, actually got that one perfect. And the second test, not so much, because the second test, you again only have five minutes until you complete both circles, left and to the right. These are just a couple of the basic proficiency tests. You can modify how you wanna score them or how you wanna carry out the test if you'd like. If you do find a different variation, please leave a comment below and tell us how you went about it. In the next video of this series, we'll do a couple more challenging exercises and some obstructed test lane trials. We may even add some of your suggestions. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to the UAV Coach channel, and don't forget to click the notifications bell so you'll be notified when that one comes out. Until then, all of us here at UAV Coach, we wish you blue skies and safe flying. We'll see you next time.